Hey guys, last week we had to create a storyboard for our digital story that we were going to share with our fellow classmates in the world. And the site I used to prepare for that was Amazon Story Builder. It's still in its beta form and it's a really easy site to use. In fact, it's very, very easy, but it's very simple and it gets the job done. Uh, one of the things that jumped out to me was kind of just the cool creation of the site. It just looks like a bulletin board that's already got the uh, note cards pinned to it and it's very easy to use there's not too much extra stuff there's no ads or anything and so let's get down to how to create using it the first thing you do is from the home page here you click start a, a new court board and it will it will lead you to sign in to Amazon which most of us do here uh, it will also uh, once you've signed in ask you to create a court board title ask you a little bit what's the story about optional you don't have to do that and then at the bottom it asks you is it kind of a story for a movie or a TV series you know that's something that is is what it was designed for but to be honest with you you could use this for a number of different reasons uh, we used it for our digital story you could use it for just about anything including lessons which is what I was going to to do that so once you click on that it will take you over here to the next step part to the actual court board and you will have to start creating different note cards to link that and that's what I did last week to uh, to do uh, my digital story with and so I started over here in fact I said you could use it for lesson plans you can add groups and what I did was create one for warm-up one for what you're actually going to teach and then one for the guided practice the different things you have that and then to uh, whatever homework or conclusion you have at the end of the lesson. But back to the note cards and the site itself. The note card is simple. You just click on the note card uh, and you and then you click on edit and you can do whatever you want to with it. Whatever text you want to type into there, it's very easy. You can do the same thing. You can add a card. You can add as many cards as you want to. And then if you want to have more room for multiple cards, you just collapse the cards and you can see just the title of each card over here so it'll make a very easy reference point for you to go to it'll make it easy to basically create the entire storyboard that you're going to make the other thing is it's got a couple of useful tools um, for deleting ones first of all you can delete the card right here drag it to the bottom and it will ask you if you want to permanently delete it I don't have anything on it so I'm not losing anything so you do that the other thing is, is it has a drawer where you can save photos you can save cards if you're not sure you might need it for later I just drag it up there and I am done with it once you are done with everything you hit save it's saved and that is it uh, once you log back in if you click on the home you'll be able to see it uh, it'll probably show up cork board one here but this is a very easy easy program to use and I would definitely recommend it if you're trying to put your thoughts and ideas in a specific sequence to use either in a digital story, a movie, a lesson plan and you can even share this with TV people and get them to latch onto your story you might be the next big movie star from whatever you could create here on Amazon Story Builder. Anyway I hope this helps you out uh, it certainly did help me organize my thoughts for my digital story.